look at your pictures again in your groups. Okay? Can you find the same picture here? Any group? Raise your hand if you found one. Yes, Sharif. Which one is yours? Cloudy. He says cloudy. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good job. Okay. Next, Akil. Uh, sunny. Sunny. Can you show the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay. Putra says yes. All right. Next group. Who wants to go next? Okay. Kashaf. Rainy. Rainy. Is it true? Rainy. Yes. Yes. Putra. Snowy. Snowy. Which one is snowy? Which one? Which one? This one, very good, snowy. And the last one? Windy. Windy. Which one is windy? These. One, two, three, four? These. This one? Three. 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 Windy. Three. All right, okay. Yesterday, what was the weather? Was it rainy or sunny? Yesterday night? Oh. Uh, sunny. 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 Night? Rainy. Morning or night? Rainy. 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 Very good, Asha. Yesterday night, it was? Rainy. Rainy. Was it hot or cold? Cold. Cold. Okay, awesome job. Okay, sit straight. Relax. Can you watch the can you see the TV? Yes. Are you ready to watch? Yes. Okay. If you want to sing, you can sing, okay? Okay, before you fill that up, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do today. You're going to learn about the weather. So the song was, how's the weather today? So how's the weather today? Sunny? You sure it's sunny? Yeah, it's sunny. All right, okay. Now, on your piece of paper, you are going to write this. So this is mine. This is? Stormy. So this group, what are you? You are? Snowy. So you are going to write hi, we are? Snowy. When it's snowing, is it hot or cold? Cold. Cold. So you are right, going to write we are cold. So take about one minute to do that. You are going to write down what is your weather and whether you feel hot or cold. So you are going to work in your group. You are going to help one another. Okay, let's start now. Windy, yes, very good. So you have to write down. Are you okay? How's the weather today? It is sunny. Good job, Pussy. It is raining. Done? Done? Okay, let's wait for Faiz, one person, to be done. Okay. Okay, now in your groups, you have to practice as loud as you can, okay? Go now, practice in your group. So, hi, 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 Hi. Hi. We are home. 
Ah, ah, very good. Okay, in the count of five, I want all of you to sit down. One, two, three, four, five. Very good job. Okay, now I'm going to call your group one by one. You're going to come in front and then you're going to present to everyone. Okay? And then everyone, you're going to say if your friend is good or your friend is not so good. Okay? Can you do that? Okay, who wants to go first? All right, put trust group. Okay, let's give put trust group a big round of applause, everyone. Pussy, clap, 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 clap. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, so shall we listen to your friends? Okay, remember we must respect our friends. We should listen. All right, okay. When you're ready, you can start. Hi, we are snowy. We are cold. Very good. Now, can we answer them? We say, hi, Snowy. Hi, Snowy. Okay, so is it good or not so good? Good. Good. Okay, very good. Let's give them a very big clap. Okay, next, second group. Who wants to go? Okay, Hakisha's group. Okay, let's give Hakisha's group a big clap. Everyone, now boss group, please clap for Hakisha's group. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Hi, we are rainy. We are cool. Very good. Okay, now is it good? Good. Okay, very good. Give them a clap. Very good. Job. Thank you, Happy Chester. Okay. So this was snowy. This is rainy. Rainy. Okay, next. Who wants to come? Okay, Sharon's group. Come. What should you do if a group comes in front? Yes, very good, good shot. Okay. To the middle, to the middle, to the middle. All right, okay, ready. Hi, we are cloudy. We are cold. Huh, good or not so good? Good. Good. Ikra, good or not so good? Good. Good. Okay, they say good. So very good job. Give them some good time. Okay, thank you, Sharif and the group. Okay, thank you, Cloudy. So we had what what do we have here? Snowy. Snowy. Rainy. Rainy. Cloudy. Cloudy. Okay, next. Who wants to come? Okay, Fatin group. Come. I'm sorry, Akil. Oh, you have to clap hands. Thank you, Bushra. You have to say clap hands here. Yeah? yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hi, we are windy. We are good. Good? Good. Yeah, very good. Rainy, cloudy, cloudy, windy. Windy. And let's have the last one. Come. Very good, Pusha. All right. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hi, we are sunny. We are hot. Good, not so good. So what did we have here? Snowy. 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 Sharif, Snowy. what did we have here? Snowy. Very good. Rainy. Fatin, what did we have here? Rainy. Rainy, very good. Daniel, what did we have here? Cloudy. Very good. Okay, what did we have there? Sunny. Windy. 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 Ashraf, what did we have here? Sunny. 
Sunny, very good. Everyone give yourself one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, five fingers. Very good job. Okay. So we have five different where? Weathers. Okay. So who can tell me what's the first weather? Snowy? Windy. Windy? Windy. Cloudy. Cloudy? Windy. Sunny. Sunny? Rainy. Alia, give me the last one. Alia. Wait, wait, wait. Alia, give me the last one. Rainy. Alia, la. Windy. Windy, very good. Give Alia a clap. Very good job. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Look at the question. What is this? Click, 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 click the picture. Click the picture. What is this? Number one is snowy. Now, when you started off this activity, 
Each group had this, right? Yes. Okay, you had your name, right? Yes. Okay, what is this called? Paper. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Paper cut. Paper cut. Envelope. Envelope. Anyone else? Paper. Paper. Poster. Poster. One last try. Uh, okay, this is known as a postcard. Postcard. Okay, it's a card that you can post. Okay, it's a card that you can post. Okay, so someone has written this for, for you. Okay, who read this just now? Anyone read this just now? Did you read? No. Who read? Hagisha, did you read? Yes, so who, where is this person from? Australia. Okay, my friend who lives in Australia, he wrote this postcard to you. Okay, when someone sends you a card, when someone sends you a message, what do you do? Write it back. You write it back. Okay, so for example, I give this card to Putra. I say, hi Putra, how are you? So Putra must write a letter to me. Correct? Yes? I can't hear you. Yes, I'm a Yes. Do you want to write a letter? Oh, yes. 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 Do you want to write to my friend in Australia? Yes. 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 Okay, so my friend sent you a video. Do you want to watch a video? Yes. So we are going to see what is the weather in Australia now, okay? Do you think Australia is hot or cold? Cold. 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 Do you think it's sunny? Yes. Yeah. Windy? Don't know? Don't know. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. So this postcard is from Achilla from Australia. Okay. So this is Australia. Is it beautiful? Yes. Yes. So now you all know about weather. So let's watch this video. No. Hi, this is Achilla from Melbourne, Victoria. It's a beautiful and sunny day out here today. I hope you all received my postcards. Write you soon. Thank you to Peter. Okay, I'm going to play the video again. You are going to tell me what is the weather, okay? Is it sunny, rainy, windy, snowy, or cloudy? Let's listen again. It's a beautiful and sunny day out here today. I hope you all received my postcards. Write you soon. Thank you to Peter. Okay. Yes. Sunny and? No? Beautiful. Okay, Sharif got it right. Sunny and beautiful. Like me. Beautiful like me? Yes? yes? Okay. So, are you ready to write a letter to Ashila? Yes? Okay. So, now, outside the room, there are five boxes outside the room. Okay? Do you know what's a box? Yes. Okay, there's five boxes outside the room. Each group, you are going to take one box. Okay? So, I want Kashaf to stand up. Who's need to stand up? Ikram? Hello. Oh, Furkan? And Arash? Okay, put your things down. Put your, put your things down. Put your book down. Ikram, stand. Put your books down. Okay. I'm going to play a song. I want you to go out and get a box and come back inside. All right, so you're going to go outside, you're going to take a box, and then you're going to come back inside. Are you ready? Yes? I'm going to play a song, and then you can go. Wait, I've not played the song yet. Ready? Then you go your group. This is your group. It's me here. Catch up here. Catch up here. Okay. Now open the box. Open the box. What's inside the box? Okay, tell me what is inside the box. That's a postcard. Okay. And then? What is another thing inside there? Picture. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is a 
postcard that you are going to write to Ashlaf. Okay. Now the group leaders put the box on the floor. Put the boxes on the floor. Take this plastic. Take this plastic with you. Arash, take this plastic with you. Arash, take the plastic with you. Take the plastic. Husni, this is for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you are going to write this postcard to whom? Acha La. Where is Acha La from? Australia. Australia. Okay. So you are going to write this letter and then we are going to post this letter to Acha La. Is that okay? Yes. Are you excited to send yes. a letter? Yes. Okay. So you are going to write this as nice as you can and you are going to color this as nice as you can. All right. You can sit anywhere you want. And you can use this to write your postcard. So here's going to be hi. Write your friend's name. Who is the friend just now? Achala. How are you? Thank you for your postcard. Okay. The weather here in Malaysia. What is the weather now? Is it sunny, rainy? Sunny. Okay, sunny. And hot or cold? Cold. Hot. Hot. Okay, hot. I like or hate? Like, like, like. Like this weather, hoping to hear from you soon. Bye. From what is your name? Your name? Akil. Akil. So you have to write your name. Akil. What is your name? Ikram. What is your name? Ikram. Okay. And then this is the address. Okay. Address. Clear? Start now. What is the weather here in Malaysia? Sunny, wind, cloudy. Okay, now that you have written the postcard. So I'm going to collect all the postcards here and then we are going to post it to Australia. Is that okay? Are you excited to send it? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it here. You are going to come and put it inside here and back to your place. Okay. So let's start with this row. This row. Okay. Put your postcards in there. Take your postcard, put it there and go back to your places. Go. It's okay. We'll do that later. Careful. All right. Push up, put it inside. It's okay. Now, far come. All right. Thank you. Okay. Who else? Husni, Dan, Ashraf, come. Put your letter. Iman, come. Damia, Kashaf. Aisha. Okay, those who have done can go back to your seats. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question, Husni. What is your favorite, your favorite weather? Snowy. Why do you like snowy? Okay, think of that. I'm going to come back to you, okay? Okay, Furkan, what weather do you like? Snowy. Snowy, why? Because it's cold. Because it's cold. Very good. High five. Very good for a guy. Okay, anyone else who wants to try? One more. Okay, Hakisha, what is your favorite weather? Snowy. Snowy? Why? Because cool. Is there snow in Malaysia? No. Have you seen London. snow? London. Have you seen snow? No. No. You have seen snow before. Wow, very nice. Okay, yes, Kasha. Sunny. Sunny. You like sunny. Why? I am happy. Because you're happy when it's sunny. Very good. Give Kajab a very big clap. Very, very big clap. Yes, Shari. Sunny. Sunny, why? Because I can play outside every day. You can play outside. Very good, Shari. Give Shari a very big clap. Very good. Okay, so today you learned two things. One, you learn about the five. Five what? Weather. Five weather. Very good, Hakisha. You learn about five weathers. And also, you learn how to write a postcard. Okay, do you enjoy writing postcards? Yes. Yes. So, to end up this lesson, I'm going to show you these are some postcards that real people have sent.
Can you see the stamp here? Yeah. yeah so these are real post cards. Okay. So do you all have? Yeah. Yeah, the stamp. Yeah. So do you have any questions? Any question? Do you have a question for me? No. Did you enjoy today? Yes. What did you enjoy the most? Uh, happy. Happy? Yeah. What did you enjoy? Did you like Kahoot or did you like the jigsaw? Uh, Kahoot. You like the, uh, Kahoot. Kahoot. Arash, what did you enjoy? You enjoy playing? Writing? Uh, uh, what did you do today? You did a Kahoot game, right? Yes. You did a computer game, right? Yes. Did you like it, Arash? Yes. Okay. Okay, now pack your things. Your books, your pencil cases, your color pencils. Hold it. Ashraf, have you packed? Okay, make sure you don't leave any rubbish behind. Is there any rubbish there? No. I can see rubbish there. No. Can you pick that up for me? Come on, Ashraf. Thank you. Okay, now, I need you to stand up. Stand up. All right. Now, thank you, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Today, we will have an amazing lesson based on the novel, The King of Kites. I hope everyone has read the novel and is ready to explore together with us today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today, we are going to explore the elements of the story. Every story that you can think of, be it Harry Potter, Frozen, Isn Ali, or Cinderella, have these key elements. They are characters, setting, and plot. So, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to show understanding on the characters, setting, and plot in a story. You will also identify the key elements in the novel, The King of Kites. So before we start, let's watch this video and remember to jot down any important facts. Let's go. Every book you love to read No matter the category Has the same old pieces The elements of a story If it walks or thinks It's probably a character If they do the talking It's probably a character If the book is about them It's probably a character A character the character that's the setting where did they go that's the setting inside or outside that's the setting the setting that's the setting the first few pages that's the beginning what happens first that's the beginning we meet the characters in the That was a very catchy song. Can you help me name the three elements of the story again? Good. They are characters, 
setting and plot. See if you were paying attention. What is a character? Awesome job. A character is simply the people or animals in the story. For example, in Harry Potter, the main characters are Harry, Ron and Hermione. Next, we have settings. Anyone would like to tell me the setting of the story? Awesome job! Yes, the setting is the when and where the story takes place. For example, in Harry Potter, the story takes place in Hogwarts and also London where Harry lives with his uncle and aunt. Lastly, plot. The plot is the events that happen in the story. There will be a beginning, middle and ending. Now, would you like to play a game? You will receive a stack of cards. You will need to read the cards and then sort it into the right element. You will only have 10 minutes to do this. So are you ready? Get set, go! Fantastic job everyone now let's see if you got it correct let's start with characters the answers are Izan Ali, Upin, Elsa and Cinderella next is settings the answers are school, village, castle and a long time ago as for plot the answers are Izan Ali saves the day Cinderella lost her shoe, Upin found the book, and Anna looks for Elsa. How did you do? I hope you have fun with this. It is time to apply what you have just learned. Based on the novel, The King of Kites, fill in the circle chart. You will have 20 minutes. If you prefer, you can draw on the circle chart instead. Place your circle chart proudly all around your classroom. Take some time to see what others have written and drawn. Give them a high five or a thumbs up if you think they did a good job. I hope you had fun with me today. So before we go answer this question, what are the three facts I learned today? Write it down on a sticky note and then paste it on a parking lot. See you again. And hello everyone, welcome to class. Are you ready for today's lesson? This is going to be another interesting lesson. It is going to be a reading lesson with a combination of reading activities and speaking activities. Before we start, I would like you to be ready with your close-up textbook and also your mini whiteboard. We are going to use them later in a few activities. Well, class, what are we learning today? By the end of the lesson, you will be able to, number one, understand the main points in a text entitled Survival in the Andes. And number two, you are able to explain your point of view by sharing your predictions with your shoulder partner. Shall we start? Let's start the lesson by watching a video. And after watching the video, I want you to tell me what is the name of the activity that you have watched from the video. Let's watch. Don't get it. 
Fear is always there when you proxy fly or even when you do normal base jumps, if, if you can call it normal base jump. But um, usually you manage the fear before the flight and once you're committed to fly, you're just flying. Here, it's just commitment. You decide to enter the crack, you have to go for it. There's no point. Defense. I did too. <laughs> that was fucking killer, man. Nice, yeah. nice flying. Okay, class. What do you think of the video? Amazing, isn't it? Now, can you please tell me what is the name of the activity that you saw from the video? Come on, shout it out. Yes. It is called base jumping. And base jumping is an extreme sport done or carried out in an extreme situation. Well, class, please turn your close-up textbook to page 83. On page 83, you are going to see another extreme sport called rope jumping. Rope jumping and base jumping are pretty similar because both of them are extreme sports carried out in extreme situations. These are dangerous activities and you cannot do them without professional supervision. This brings us to our topic for this week, which is extreme situations. My dear pupils, let me give you another example of an extreme situation. Do you remember, in 2018, there were 12 Thai boys and their football coach who were trapped in a dark cave without food and water. This situation is an extreme situation and you will be reading more about extreme situations after this. After a long search that at times seemed hopeless, the first signs emerged that 12 boys and their football coach were alive. The British searchers were the first to make contact deep inside Tumlawang Cave. How, how many of you? 13. Brilliant. Okay, class, now we are going into our reading activity. I want you to read a real life story. Please turn your close up textbook to page 84 and you will see a section on breaking news. I'm giving you three minutes and please read this section on breaking news. As you read, I want you to highlight some words that may be a problem to you. Let's read. Interesting 
facts, aren't they? Now, I am going to give you three questions based on the breaking news section. I need you to share your answers with your partner. Are you ready? My first question. How many were there in the rugby team? Please tell your shoulder partner. Yes, correct. There were 45 of them. My second question. Where were they going to? Please share your answer with your partner. Very good. They were going to Santiago, Chile, and they were coming from Uruguay. And my third question, class, what do you think happened next? What happened to Flight 571? Please share your answers with your shoulder partner. class for sharing your wonderful answers with your friends. It is so good to see you working together. Now, before we actually read the full article on survival in the Andes, I would like to show you a movie clip. Would you like that? This movie clip is based on this real life story. And before that, I would like you to please take out your mini whiteboard. As you watch the video, please write down two emotions or two feelings that you have while watching the movie clip. Let's enjoy the movie clip. So class, how do you enjoy the movie clip? I can even feel your excitement from here. Let's share your answers now, your feelings with your classmates. Can you please put up your mini whiteboard and show everyone in the class what you have written? What did you feel when watching the movie clip? Yes, do it now, show everyone. Let me guess some of the answers that you could have probably written. I think many of you felt 
shocked watching the movie clip. Am I right? Many would also have felt afraid, terrified, speechless, probably lost for words, dismayed, panic-stricken. Now, all these adjectives are showing fear, anxiety, worry. What about you? Could you think of anything else other than the words that I have mentioned and listed? My dear pupils, now we are going to read the full article on survival in the Andes on page 84. The movie clip you watched earlier was just a teaser. A teaser means a short introduction. Let us read this full article now and you can see whether or not your predictions are correct or otherwise. Let us read. Do you like the article? Do you like what you have read? I love it very much. Do your predictions match to the story or to the article of survival in the Andes? Very good. It's so good to know that your predictions match. My dear pupils, there are many good values that we can learn from this story. Now, I would like you to imagine, if you were one of the survivors, if you were one of the passengers of Flight 571 that crashed on Mount Andes, what would you do? Would you give up easily? Would you help others? Or would you be able to find strength to survive the extreme situations? Please share your thoughts with your shoulder partner. I'm giving you two minutes to do so. We are coming to the end of our lesson. Before we end, I would like you to reflect on what you have read and think of a word or an expression that you have learned today. Please write that word or expression on your mini whiteboard and then put it up and show your friends in your group. I wonder, what could that word be? That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Please read the article again for deeper understanding as you will be answering comprehension questions in the next lesson. Till then, thank you and bye.